everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a first impressions video and a mini review of the brand new Chanel foundation which is Perfection Lumiere. So if you want to see a little bit more of the foundation and what I think of it, then keep watching. Okay, so some of you might know that I am a huge, huge fan of Chanel foundation, so when I heard they were bringing out a new one, I was very, very excited. Even though it means that they're discontinuing both Pro Lumiere and Matte Lumiere, which is an interesting decision, um, I'm excited to see what they've kind of replaced it with, because it must be good that they think they can replace both of those foundations with one. So, this actually doesn't come out until the 13th of January in the UK, but I was in duty free on my way back from France yesterday and I spotted it there. So I managed to pick one up. The shade I got is B20 or 20 beige, which is the shade that I also have in my Pro Lumiere and my Vita Lumiere Aqua. This is kind of my winter shade. In the summer I go up to B40. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to talk you through opening up the product, what I think of the product, first impressions, applying it for the first time, the finish that it gives, and then I'm going to cut and come back later this evening and tell you how it wears because this foundation claims to stay for 15 hours which is quite a heavy claim. So the finish is actually meant to be semi-matte um, like I said it's a kind of strange thing to replace Pro Lumia which is a kind of dewy finish foundation with Matte Lumia which is matte but I'm interested to see what it has to offer. So the box that it comes in is like this it's very very similar in size to the Pro Lumia. The Vita Lumia Aqua is actually dinky in comparison but they're all 30 mil. So it's got this kind of standard black Chanel packaging and then the bottle is a nice quality glass bottle, the same as Pro Lumiere, pretty much. It's a little bit fatter. And then it comes with the pump. So I'm going to pump out two pumps onto my hand, as you can see there. The colour is a little bit light and that's one thing that I noticed. I might just do a quick comparison um, between the colours of the B20s because for me it seems a little bit lighter than my other two foundations but I don't know if I'm imagining that totally so yeah I think I'm imagining that I think they're all pretty much the same colour okay so I'm going to be using a kind of regular foundation brush I can't remember exactly where this one is from this is my favourite I think it's crown but it's just a little bit smaller than your kind of traditional foundation brush but this is very much a kind of traditional liquid foundation so I'm just going to start applying this to my face and it is a little bit lighter then I would maybe say is a perfect match for my skin but B30 at the moment is a little bit dark so I always prefer to go slightly lighter than slightly darker and first off I can say the smell is really really lovely it has that kind of I like to call it peachy um, smell that Chanel foundations have um, it reminds me a lot of the smell of the bronze universal um, cream bronzer and straight away I can see that the finish is a little bit more matte than I would normally go for which will be disappointing to those people who have lost their Pro Lumiere over this because Pro Lumiere is a very kind of glowy I always like to describe Pro Lumiere as um, it kind of looks like YSL Touche Club but for your whole face it's just very very brightening um, so it might be a bit of a loss for those of you who really really love that and it is quite a heavy coverage foundation as well I'd say it's probably um, an evening foundation it's definitely more coverage than I would wear kind of on a day to day basis okay so that's it my foundation is on now um, kind of first impressions what I think, it is a lot more matte than I would normally go for. Um, it does leave a very, very flawless finish, but like I said, something that I would definitely have for maybe evening. You can definitely see that you have foundation on. It's not a subtle or overly natural foundation, but the finish is very, very pretty. I think it would definitely be good um, for going out. The one thing that I do think is kind of... Um, maybe sits into any fine lines that I have around my eyes a tiny bit. I don't know whether that's just because of the semi-matte finish, um, which I don't normally go for. I normally go for dewy. But overall, I think the look is very, very beautiful, but definitely something that I would go for at night time. As for the price, it's even more expensive than the other Chanel foundations. I'm not sure if they're putting the other foundations up in price, but when I bought my last Vital Lumiere Aqua, it was 30 £1.60 or £32.60 I think um, and this is going to be £36 so it is a lot of money I got mine for 
I think it was 35 euros 40 cents in French duty free so it was about the same I probably saved a pound or so um, but overall it is an expensive foundation I think a lot of the money probably goes on the packaging to be honest um, but yeah first impressions I like it I don't know if I like it as much as my Pro Lumiere um, so I'm kind of slightly disappointed but I will be back later this evening to tell you how it wears and how it sinks in because that is another major part about having a foundation. I also got a few comments because I mentioned I was going to do this on my vlog channel yesterday um, about people asking for a kind of longer term review. So I will definitely keep you updated in terms of how this foundation goes over time and if I use it kind of on an everyday basis. Even just now actually it's sinking into my skin a bit more. Um, I'm liking it more as I go along. So it's actually quite late at night right now. I think it's about 11 o'clock, so that is um, about 14 hours of wear. I put it on at 9 o'clock this morning. Um, I hope my maths is right there, 12, <laughs> 13, 14 hours. And I'm really happy with the foundation in general, actually. It, I set it with my Scandinavia setting spray instead of using a powder because I, I don't have really dry skin, but I kind of have um, dry to combination skin. I definitely do not have oily skin. So um, I think that worked really well for me and helped it kind of set into my skin really nicely and it actually ended up looking a lot more natural throughout the day than it starts off because it starts off quite matte. Um, but overall I'm really happy with it. I definitely am going to stick to my guns and say that it is more of an evening foundation. I don't think I like it better than my Vitalumia Aqua, but I do really like it and I would definitely say it's worth a try, especially if you have slightly oilier skin. It's definitely worth getting a test of and seeing if you like it. So that is my first impressions and mini review of the Chanel Perfection Lumiere. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to check out my review of the Vitalumia Aqua Foundation, I'll put a link here as well. I've already done one of those. I did it when this first came out, so it was a long time ago now but I absolutely love that so if you want to see my initial review on that then go and check that out. I'll definitely keep you updated on how I get along with the foundation. I'm going to be using it kind of over the next few weeks definitely because um, obviously I just bought it and I want to use it and try it out and stuff but first impressions are good. Not amazing, not kind of, it hasn't blown me away but they're definitely good first impressions so I hope you found this useful and I'll see you again very soon. Bye!